with October being car care month, you may see a lot more safety inspections coming through your shop. Now, brakes play a big important part of that safety inspection, and you should do a thorough job checking them. I don't mean just looking through the wheels, looking at the outboard pad, and saying, hey, brakes look good. I mean pulling the wheels and really doing a good job checking all the parts. Now, where you live may have a big part on how much time you spend on certain parts of the vehicle. Let's say you live in the Midwest or the Northeast where there's snow, ice, and we have uh, salt, calcium chloride on the road. Good thing for ice, bad thing for our vehicle, steel parts, very corrosive. It'll attack things like the caliper bracket, and it'll make it to the point where those pins lock up inside the, inside the bracket here, not allowing the caliper to slide. Um, it also is hard on the calipers themselves. It's also very hard on the brake lines. And brake lines, when they finally do corrode, uh, you can lose your brake pedal totally. Now, in those cases, a good inspection will include looking at all the brake line, all the way back to the back of the vehicle. Now, in a case like maybe where you live in the mountain area, that might be a little bit different. In the mountain area, you have a um, heat cycles. You go through a lot more because of all the braking you're doing going on the back side of mountains. Now, in those, those heat cycles, with a caliper, that square cut seal can only absorb so many of those heat cycles. Every time that caliper gets hot, cold, hot, cold, that square cut seal will actually start to get a little bit less flexible. As you know, the piston gets drawn back into the caliper with that square cut seal. It has to flex back in to pull it back in. If that square cut seal loses that flexibility, when you apply the brakes, the piston comes out but doesn't get pulled back in. That would cause premature brake pad wear or uneven brake pad wear, like in a case like this, where we have the inboard pad worn almost to nothing and the outboard pad still have some miles left on it. Now, if you live in a high humidity area, that's even a problem. Brake fluid is hygroscopic. It's always pulling moisture out of the air. And in a case where you live in a high humidity area, if that brake fluid absorbs enough of that moisture, it can start corroding parts from the inside out. And I'm talking about brake lines, wheel cylinders, calipers, even the ABS components. So, you want to really do a good inspection of the brake fluid. Check it, see what, uh, how much moisture is in that brake fluid. If brake fluid boiling point lowers enough to where the brake fluid boils during a stop, you'll lose your pedal totally. Your customer is relying on you to do a good, comprehensive brake system check. Don't let them down.